Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be chatting about dental screenings in schools. Before we get started, I just want to mention that we are not wearing face masks because we are divided by a barrier and following all COVID-19 protocols. My name is Shannon and I'm a registered dental hygienist here at the Niagara Region Public Health and I've been a hygienist for the past 11 years. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. I have worked here at the Niagara Region Public Health for the past eight years as a certified dental assistant. If you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to add them in the chat box and we will try our best to answer them at the end of the presentation. School screening stats in Niagara. In 2018-2019 school year, we visited approximately 145 schools, screening roughly 32,000 elementary students. Between September 2019 and February 2020, we found suspected cavities in 20% of JK students, 29% of SK students, and 48% of grade 2 students. Dental screenings are available free of charge for all children in Niagara from birth to 17 years of age and is done so in accordance with the Ontario Public Health Standards. School dental screenings are provided annually to children in selected grades in all publicly funded elementary schools in Niagara. Screenings are done by a dental team here at Niagara Region Public Health, which includes a registered dental hygienist and a certified level <coughs> 2 dental assistant. What is a dental screening? Dental screenings are visual assessments only and do not replace your child's regular dental examination with your dentist. Registered dental hygienists will use a new sterilized dental mirror to look into your child's mouth as we're going to uh, show with the model here that Shannon has. So what they look for is holes in the teeth or indicators of other necessary preventive services, which can be cleanings, fluoride varnish, dental sealants, and oral hygiene instruction. You'll be notified by telephone or mail should your child require urgent dental care or preventive dental services. Why do we provide dental screenings in schools? Uh, to identify any dental problems, as well as some families may experience barriers when trying to access dental treatment and to provide assessments in between regular dental checkups. Untreated dental problems can lead to potential pain and infection, difficulty sleeping, poor concentration, learning difficulties, difficulties with eating certain foods, and trouble with speech. So the dental team works with each school in advance to set up screening dates and send out parent letters. Parents will receive a minimum notice of two to four weeks prior to the screening that will identify which grades are participating. The mobile dental clinic will also be on the road to visit schools throughout the school year. Participation is optional. If your child's grade is not participating but you wish for your child to participate, you can opt in by calling or emailing the dental program. You do not have to wait for the school screening if your child has a dental concern. Please call the dental program to make an appointment to one of our fixed clinics. If your child's grade is participating but you wish your child not to take part, you must let us know every school year by calling or emailing the dental program. If immediate dental care is needed, a parent notification form will be sent home with your child on the day of the screening. A follow-up call to the parent or legal guardian will be made shortly after the school screening. If the dental hygienist thinks the child could benefit from a preventive service such as a cleaning, fluoride varnish, or dental sealants, a letter will be sent home following the dental screening. If no care is needed or required, or excuse me, recommended by the dental hygienist, no letter will be sent home. If the parent or legal guardian would like to inquire about their child's results, they can call the dental program and we'll share that information or that contact information with you at the end of this presentation. So protection and prevention measures used by the dental team during the dental screening are uh, wearing a level three mask, eye protection, lab coats, gloves which will be changed in between each child, alcohol based hand rub used between each child screened, wiping of all surfaces including chairs and tables in between each student with a disinfectant wipe. As well, students will only remove their masks for the 20 to 30 seconds during the screening and will be distanced six feet from other students. 
If your child is not in one of those selected grades this year or has received a preventive services only letter, you can access our dental clinic such as the mobile dental clinic and you can visit our website for community dates and locations at one of our three dental clinics across Niagara, open weekdays, uh, located in Niagara Falls, Thorold, and in Welland. The services we offer are dental screenings, dental cleanings, dental sealants, fluoride varnish, and oral hygiene instruction. So how you can reach us? You can reach us by calling uh, the dental health line, emailing the dental program, or contacting your school health nurse. You also have the option to live chat with a member of our dental team. And virtual dental assessment, assessment sorry, are currently available through Niagara Region's webpage. So now we'll go on to some questions. Uh, we will start with the questions that were submitted before the presentation, but if you have some questions now, you can add them to the comment section. As well, if you would prefer to submit your questions anonymously, you will see a pop-up appear on the video. All right, so one of the first questions we received is, if my child needs dental services, how will public health let me know? I can answer that. Um, a letter will be sent uh, if immediate care is required. A follow-up call will be made by the dental hygienist shortly after the dental screening's done. Um, okay, so we have another question here that's uh, previously submitted. Um, can the dental screening be done at one of public health clinics instead of at the school? Uh, yes, of course. You don't have to wait for the dental screening. You can call us to book an appointment at one of our dental clinics. That's great. It looks like we're just getting a question now. Okay. Um, it says, if I would like my child to get fluoride varnish, where can I go? So you can go to um, one of three places. You can go to your regular family dentist office and have a varnish placed. Um, our public health clinics here, you can call us and schedule in and we can definitely do that for you. Um, the child's doctor may offer fluoride varnish. Um, the pediatrician, um, they may have that in their offices as well, but it's good to call ahead and find out. So uh, there's another question here. Um, just give me a moment. Um, if my child is not in one of the chosen grades, can I still request the dental team to screen my child? Uh, so yes, you just have to call us here at Public Health or send us an email and we can add your child to the list of students to be screened. Uh, we have a question coming in from Nicole and it states, as a parent, is there anything I should be looking for in between dental, uh, dental visits to make sure their teeth are healthy? So what we're looking for in between visits for children, especially any kind of like white chalky areas, and that would be the start of the demineralization process, which just means starting of a cavity. As well, you'll be looking for any kind of holes in the teeth or any kind of brown spots. At that point, you can give us a call here at Public Health or reach out to your dentist. All right, uh, let's see if there's any questions, other questions. Okay, this is another one that was previously submitted. Um, if I opted my child out of the dental screenings last year, do I have to do it again this year? Uh, uh, yes, sorry, this must be done every school year by calling or emailing the dental program. And we're getting a question now from Nadia. Uh, my child is shy. Will they be screened in front of their classmates? They are in grade seven. This is a great question, especially for that age group. The child can uh, be requested to be screened um, by themselves. It would be uh, the dental hygienist and the registered, or excuse me, the certified level two dental assistant present. All right. Okay, so. Um, it looks like we're getting another question yeah. from Sarah this time. If my child is recommended to have some services, but I don't have dental coverage, is there any, um, is there any help available financially? Yes, uh, there is actually. Healthy Smiles Ontario. Um, it's a government funded dental program that provides uh, free dental services for eligible children and youth 17 years of age and younger. Awesome, that was a great question. Yes. So it doesn't look like we have any further questions. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us today and 
Um, Shannon, do you have anything else to add? Yeah, no, I think that was great. So thank you for taking the time to uh, watch our video.